Australian English Vocabulary, Wikipedia Article Audio Australian English is a major variety of the English language spoken throughout Australia. Most of the vocabulary of Australian English is shared with British English, though there are notable differences. The vocabulary of Australia is drawn from many sources, including various dialects of British English as well as Gaelic languages, some indigenous Australian languages, and Polynesian languages. One of the first dictionaries of Australian slang was Carl Lentzner's Dictionary of the Slang English of Australia and of some mixed languages in 1892. The first dictionary based on historical principles that covered Australian English was E. E. Morris's Austral English, a dictionary of Australasian words, phrases, and usages. In 1981, the more comprehensive Macquarie Dictionary of Australian English was published. Oxford University Press published their own Australian Oxford Dictionary in 1999 as a joint effort with the Australian National University. Oxford University Press also published the Australian National Dictionary. Words of Australian Origin Words of Australian Aboriginal Origin It has been claimed that, in recent times, the popularity of the Barry Mackenzie character, played on screen Barry Crocker, and in particular of the soap opera Neighbours, led to a huge shift in the attitude towards Australian English in the UK, with such phrases as chunder, liquid laugh and technicolor yawn all becoming well known as a result. Australian English term outback means a remote, sparsely populated area. Jackaroo is a type of agricultural worker. A battler is a person with few natural advantages, who works doggedly and with little reward, who struggles for a livelihood and who displays courage. The first citation for this comes from Henry Lawson in While the Billy Boils. I sat on him pretty hard for his pretensions, and paid him out for all the patronage he'd worked off on me, and told him never to pretend to me again he was a battler. The origins of other terms are not as clear, or are disputed. Dinkum or fair dinkum means true, the truth, speaking the truth, authentic and related meanings, depending on context and inflection. The Evening News August 23, 1879 has one of the earliest references to fair dinkum. It originated with a now extinct dialect word from the East Midlands in England, where dinkum meant hard work or fair work, which was also the original meaning in Australian English. Words of British and Irish origin A digger is an Australian soldier. The term was applied during the First World War to Australian and New Zealand soldiers because so much of their time was spent digging trenches. An earlier Australian sense of digger was a miner digging for gold. Billy Hughes, Prime Minister during the First World War, was known as the Little Digger. First recorded in this sense 1916. Fair go is a reasonable chance, a fair deal. Australia often sees itself as an egalitarian society, the land of the fair go where all citizens have a right to fair treatment. Rhyming slang A yobo, also spelled yabo, is someone who tends to be loud and obnoxious, lacks in social skills and general behavior. A yabo can also apply to someone who overindulges in alcohol and may have little or no regard for his slash her appearance. Historically yabos have also been known to have hairstyles such as the mullet or rat ales. May also be shortened to yob. A bogan is another term for describing someone who is a yabo, although may have subtle regional differences such as bevan in and around Brisbane, and bona around Canberra.
The major difference between the two is that yabo tends to be used as a noun, whereas bogan is a noun that is also used adjectively and can describe objects that are pertaining to people who are themselves bogan. Some elements of Aboriginal languages have been incorporated into Australian English, mainly as names for flora and fauna. Diminutives and abbreviations Some examples are kui and yaka. The former is a high-pitched call which travels long distances and is used to attract attention, which has been derived from Darug, an Aboriginal language spoken in the Sydney region. Kui has also become a notional distance, if he's within Kui, we'll spot him. Yaka means work, strenuous labor, and comes from Yaga meaning work in the Yagara indigenous language of the Brisbane region. Yaka found its way into 19th century Australian pidgin, and then passed into Australian English. First recorded 1847. Colloquial phrases Boomerang is an Australian word which has moved into international English. It was also borrowed from Darug. Alcohol Didgeridoo is a wind instrument that was originally found only in Arnhem Land in northern Australia. It is a long, wooden, tubular instrument that produces a low-pitched, resonant sound with complex, rhythmic patterns but little tonal variation. Many such words, phrases, or usages originated with British and Irish settlers to Australia from the 1780s until the present. For example, a creek in Australia, is any stream or small river, whereas in England it is a small watercourse flowing into the sea, paddock is the Australian word for field while in England it is a small enclosure for livestock. Bush or scrub means wooded areas or country areas in general in Australia, while in England they are commonly used only in proper names. Australian English and several British English dialects use the word mate to mean a friend, rather than the conventional meaning of a spouse, although this usage has also become common in some other varieties of English. Predecimal currency Fair dinkum reliable, genuine, honest, true comes from British dialect. It is recorded from Lincolnshire, England in 1881, and is the equivalent of West Yorkshire fair deuce fair dealing. The adjective is first recorded in Australia from the 1890s. G day a greeting, meaning good day. Sheila Australian slang for woman, is derived from the Irish girl's name Sile, anglicised Sheila. Bludger a person who avoids working, or doing their share of work, a loafer, a hanger-on, one who does not pull his weight. Originally, a pimp. Billy a tin or enamel cooking pot with a lid and wire handle, used outdoors especially for making tea. It comes from the Scottish dialect word billy meaning cooking utensil. Sport Manchester household linen, as in Manchester department of a department store. From Manchester wares with exactly the same meaning. Rhyming slang is more common in older generations, it is similar, and in some cases identical to Cockney rhyming slang, for example plates for feet and china for mate. Some specifically Australian examples are dead horse for sauce, Jack Holt for salt, Barry Crocker for shocker. Chunder for vomit most likely comes from chunder loo equals spew. Australian English vocabulary draws heavily on diminutives and abbreviations. These may be confusing to foreign speakers when they are used in everyday conversations. There are over 5,000 identified diminutives in use. While other English dialects use diminutives in a similar way, 
none are so prolific or diverse. A large number of these are widely recognised and used by Australian English speakers. However, many are used only by specific demographic groups or in localised areas. Researchers are now beginning to study what psychological motivations cause Australians to abbreviate so many words. Numerous idiomatic phrases occur in Australian usage, some more historical than contemporary in usage. Send her down, Huey is an example. Notes Amber is generic term for any beer in general but especially cold and on tap. Not only has there been a wide variety of measures in which beer is served in pubs in Australia, the names of these glasses differ from one area to another. However, the range of glasses has declined greatly in recent years. Prior to decimalisation, Australian monetary units closely reflected British usage four farthings or two halfpence to a penny, twelve pence to a shilling, twenty shillings to a pound, but terms for the coinage were uniquely Australian, particularly among working-class adult males, brown, a penny, tray, threepence, zack, sixpence, bob or diner, a shilling, two bob bit, a florin. Slang terms for notes mostly followed British usage, 10 bob note, 10 shillings, quid, pound note, fiver, 5 pound note, tenor or brick, 10 pound note. Other terms have been recorded but rarely used outside the racetrack. One confusing matter is that 5 shillings prior to decimal currency was called a dollar in reference to the Spanish dollar and holy dollar which circulated at a value of five shillings, but the Australian dollar at the introduction of decimal currency was fixed at ten shillings. Australia has four codes of football, rugby league, rugby union, Australian rules football, and soccer. Generally, rugby league is called football in New South Wales and Queensland while rugby union is called either rugby or union throughout. Both rugby league and rugby union are often collectively referred to as rugby in other states where Australian rules football is called football. Association football was long known as soccer in Australia. In 2005, the governing body changed its name to Football Federation Australia. Association football in Australia is called football only when mentioned in conjunction with a specific league, such as the A-League or Premier League, meaning either Australian football or rugby on its own depending on the region of Australia.